Well, Simon, I don't know about you, but it's felt like a, a very long two weeks building up to this game. I mean, how's everyone feeling going into the weekend? Yeah, good. You know, really good. We've um, we've we've been able to you know reflect upon the end of our season, um, get some really good time on the training pitch, and get the the right balance of you know recovery and and still maintaining them sharpness and fitness levels that you'll need. Um, and we're just looking forward to, to what lies in front of us. And I think, um, you know, the, the time can be in between. You could, some people might argue it's a great thing. Some people might argue that, you know, it's something that gets in the way. For me, it, it absolutely, you know, was what it was. And that was, you know, a period of time to prepare, to recover, to reflect on what, what was good, and to reflect on what you want to be better at and take it into your next game. And that's what we'll be doing. Obviously, coming into this game, we are on the back of such a long, unbeaten run. 18 games now, which is another club record. I mean, is that is that run of form relevant or important going into the playoffs, or does it all just kind of go out the window? Yeah, I, I understand the point. I think um, I don't think I don't think your seasons work and the things that have allowed you to, you know, move forward as a team and a group of people and a club, you know, certainly can't go out the window. I think what what you can do is you can you can take great strength from the things that you've been good at this year, and I think the um, you know, the 18 games on beat and run tells us, you know, there's aspects of our game which we can be really happy with. Um, and then, of course, you just run that alongside the aspects of your game that you always want to improve and be better at. So, you know, what it doesn't do, it doesn't um, in any way, shape or form lead us to being complacent about what we're doing. Um, and we, we always want to be better in our next match. Um, but I think what we can do is we can we can be confident about who we are. We can be confident about you know, the things that we're good at. And um, and obviously that's been a contributing factor to the to the run we've been on. So it's um it's um it's not out of the window, but certainly, you know, you've got to go and win your next game of football and you know that's nothing to do with the past and it's certainly gonna be about the future and the future is, you know, a, a tricky game, one we can look forward to though. We worked incredibly hard over the last few weeks of the season to, to get that third place and as a result of that have home advantage for this game. How big a role do the fans have to play on Sunday? Yeah, I think um, first of all, you know, it's um, once again it's brilliant. We've got got the home advantage, and we've got our supporters in um, a day that hopefully you know they're looking forward to and can enjoy. Um, and of course, look, when they're behind you, it gives you an energy. You know, it can give the players the energy when there's difficult moments in the game, um, and also you know continue to inspire you if you're having a good game. So it, I think it is it's a massive thing for us. Um, and, and obviously, I would say that our, our fans are you know, going to be a little bit more special than everyone else's. You know, I'm going to be biased with that one. Uh, and I'm sure that they'll be, they'll be right behind us on, on, um, on Sunday. And another thing you have in your squad is a lot of players with that experience of winning playoff campaigns in the past. You look at Liam Hogan, Lois Maynard, Connor Jennings, Paddy Madden. Is that having that experience and mentality something you're able to draw on in the build-up to the game? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I think everyone, when you get to these critical moments or, you know, compelling, compelling games, you've got uh, everyone brings their own set of life experiences to them. And, uh, you know, some people will have really wonderful experience that they can bring to the occasion. And actually as well, though, sometimes inexperience can bring something brilliant to the, to the mix as well. So uh, I think it's about drawing on, on everyone's experiences and if you're you know someone that's not been part of a playoff game before or you know a game with such magnitude and significance that you know you can you can bring an energy to it you know a fearless energy to it and equally you know if you've got that experience and you have experienced promotions or even disappointments you know sometimes I think we 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 draw upon you know the, the great moments you've had in your career but actually you know my experience of football is that you know, if you've had difficult moments in your career, that can be every bit as useful for you, you know, in, in these type of games. So, you know, if buts and maybes about these type of things, you know, so really and truly it's about us um, embracing the game, but just being focused on, on what we want to be focused on. And, you know, we have got, um, we've got a lot of players that are very effective, um, that are really humble, that are really hungry. And, um, and we know that, you know, on Sunday going into this match that, you know, We've got a group of players that will be giving absolutely everything to get the result. Just speaking of, of Paddy Madden earlier, I mean, obviously he and, and Will Collar have been out the last few weeks with injury. How are they looking building up to the weekend? Yeah, I think um, it was always, um, you know, going to be something that was going to get to a point in time where you're going to have some difficult decisions to make. So that's an ongoing thing at the minute. Um, 
you know, whether they manage to get out for the game or not probably still hangs in the balance. So, you know, but if, if it's not to be, then I would be absolutely, you know, full of faith in whatever team we're putting out on the pitch. Um, so obviously that one's probably still hanging in the balance. Just uh, another player with a lot of experience in his squad is obviously John Rooney, uh, and he's just been announced as the, the National League Player of the Year for the second successive season. I mean, that's quite an achievement for him, isn't it? Yeah, I think um, I think it's an excellent achievement. I think um, you know John's individual qualities and the type of goal and the type of moment he can bring, you know, to to us as a football club and uh, to football in general. You know, really is. Um, you know, you have to take your hat off to that, and he deserves he deserves his award. Um, and equally, John would be the first to admit as well, and it, at the risk of moving into that you know repetitive territory, that he would also be the first to admit that you know the, the group of players and the spirit of the the training ground and everyone has allowed him to once again get get such a, such an award that he can be really proud of. So yeah, I think it's a great occasion for John. It's a great reward. But I think it's also, you know, uh, a reward for, for everyone that supported him in that performance aspect too. Just looking at, at Sunday's opponents, I mean, we all saw you were on, B, on the BT Sport cameras watching the game <laughs> at Hartlepool last weekend. I mean, how helpful was it for you to take that game in? Yeah, I think um, it's helpful. You know, it's, um, when, when you're sitting there as a manager and you're looking at that type of game, obviously in that specific moment, the, the pressure's not on you. Um, and of course... You know, for, for us to turn up and, and have a look at the, the the opponent, and it could have been either or on the day, and obviously it's, it's turned out to be Hartlepool. It's um, you know that can only be of use, and it's um, it's something that you know I'll certainly try and bring into the the preparation for the fixture. Uh, just finally, Sam, and I know we're obviously we're not there yet, but what, what would it mean to you personally to guide this team in, into a final so soon into your time here at County? Yeah, I think. Um, I think it's it's obviously something that you know if if we were to get there and we've got you know a huge task ahead of us on Sunday before we you know we do anything. So really, I think of course you know the type of occasion we're involved in, the type of game it is, it's you know it's 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 a special one. Um, I think really and truly, I wouldn't want to look too far ahead. Um, I just want to give give me all really um, and and help the players as much as I can. You know that when they step foot on that pitch, they, they've got the best possible chance of achieving success for the football club, the supporters, you know, the, the board, the owner, everyone that's pushed so hard. Um, and again, you know, I've I'm only you know relatively new into the building, and there's been you know over the years I'm aware that there's been you know some really hard times for the football club, and we're on a we're on the way back up. Hopefully, um, of course, we've got a lot of work to do that, but I think to be part of you know a a story really where the supporters can enjoy some good times you know that's what we're fighting for really we're fighting for that you know we're we're, we're giving everything we can that you know we can we can have them special days and them special moments um, but you have to really work hard to earn them and, and we're hoping and we're we're hoping that our work rate and our commitment can can contribute to to a win starting on Sunday and, and hopefully if that does happen then obviously the some of them difficult times that the supporters and the club have been through in the past, you know, can can be spun on its head, and we can have, you know, hopefully a couple of days that we can really savour and enjoy. We're all right behind you on Sunday, Simon. Thanks Thank for your you. time. Cheers.